Hey everyone, it's your professional sarcastic man and seeker of attention, Oz Chris here. Here with a video on Dragon Ball Super Volume 1 of the manga. Uh, I gotta say, while I do, I am a fan of, <laughs> I'm a fan of Dragon Ball entirely. Except GT, get that shit out of here, you know. Good, GT is good concepts executed terribly. <laughs> um, regardless of all of that. I would say the first volume, it doesn't have a particularly good start because in my opinion, it's a lazy, it's a lazy start because it does the same mistake that the, uh, not the manga, the anime did and it's just, it rehashed the movies again. Why? So almost note for note, it follows the movie and uh, the first anime arc of Battle of Gods. There are some slight changes here and there it's not bad but the thing is it really it really didn't need to exist because there was no point to rehashing uh battle of gods for a third time uh, and they do take some uh what is it uh there are some changes to it like uh like i said uh like, Champa and Vados are introduced earlier than they are in the anime, if I remember correctly. Uh, they're actually shown in... They're shown in that universe searching for the uh, Super Dragon Balls there for the upcoming uh, uh, tournament between Universe 6 and 7. So, I did... Well, I did appreciate that. It's just, like, they, they explain anyway, or it's just hinted anyway that they were... They obviously came to their universe to uh look for the super drag the super dragon balls anyway and just beerus is just angry that it's like why'd you come to like, essentially like why'd you come to my turf uh so you really didn't need to show it but okay but i think this is where like the kind of the laziness kind of appears it's just like editor's note uh if you'd like to enjoy the party in full check out the battle of gods movie it's just like that's the equivalent of saying, that's almost the equivalent of the read the manga, essentially. It's just, like, I know Dragon Ball now is essentially, for like anyone that's never watched it, never watched it, if they hear about Dragon Ball, they, I think most would assume, oh, it's, it's that, one, that one where they just fight a lot. It's, it's an action. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of punching, kicking, shooting, energy, blasts and beams, whatever, essentially. That's essentially how I, I was originally like liked and, in, and was introduced to like Dragon Ball Z. It's just like, holy crap, like the, <laughs> the action, man. Oh, damn. But there's also the Toriyama charm, like the uh, the comedic sides of it. Uh, and this was done well. I, I appreciated that in like the the birthday party, Bulma's birthday party on the luxury cruise. Definitely, definitely a Toriyama, Tori, Toriyama moment. Uh, and it's just like, nope. It, it does, it's not essential to this manga. We'll get rid of that. And then it does, then it just, uh, and then the whole Super Saiyan God thing is just done. It's just like one panel just to explain what a Super Saiyan God is. One, two, three, four, five, five to perform the ceremony and one to, like I know in an anime in the anime in the movie it's slightly longer in the manga it's just the page it's not going to show every individual thing but it's just like it's so quickly just recapped <laughs> I don't know why and also they entirely skip out on resurrection F mostly because uh Mostly because uh, Resurrection F already has its own manga. Uh, and that's just kind of uh, rehashed as well. It's just quickly just like... Uh, there was an incident recently where Frieza, the Emperor of Terror, who once threatened to destroy the universe, was resurrected and went to attack the Earth. Uh, yada, 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 yada. They became Super Saiyan Blue. Thanks to that, they were able to defeat the resurrected Frieza. In one panel, 
they recapped the entirety entirety of an arc and a movie pointless you really doesn't need to mention like like i said before it made the same mistake that the anime did it's just it rehashed the the movies where it should have just started should have just started with this just the whole resurrection no, 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 the whole tournament to begin with because from here i definitely liked uh the manga from this point on with the tournament i definitely 100 percent enjoyed it it was great Loved it. Definitely Dragon Ball. <laughs> uh, but it, it could have just... It, it essentially could have just started from the tournament. The manga could have just started from the tournament instead of rehashing uh, Battle of Gods for a third time and then just skipping over Resurrection F because it has its own manga. Because the thing is with Dragon Ball Super, you just... You can't... This manga... You can't just give it to some, uh, someone who's never, uh, does not know what Dragon Ball is, never watched it, never read it, like any of the series, any of the manga, and they're going to be like, wow, I understand everything. So, so I understand what a Super Saiyan is. I know who all these characters are, despite the fact that hardly like none of the other side hardly any of the side characters are named it's like they're not going this Dragon Ball Super is not for like a novice like someone you want to you don't you don't give this to someone who wants to start reading Dragon Ball you obviously you give them Dragon Ball uh you can kind of get away with it with Dragon Ball Z but go from the start definitely Dragon Ball it's an amazing it's an amazing manga that is that has gone on for years is hugely popular. So you have to, it's something where you have to do, go go from the start to see the whole journey of it. Because Dragon Ball is Goku's story. Dragon Ball Z is like everyone else's story. Just Goku just has because Goku is the main character. He he has to appear at the end to help save the day. Like that that's a thing you notice in Dragon Ball Z. Like in order to give everyone else development and screen time. Goku has to either die or be incapacitated. The the Saint the the Saiyan arc in Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z, uh, Goku dies. So then we get develop more development on Piccolo, on Gohan. Uh, Namek the Namek arc he's still resting from his injuries. He doesn't arrive later on to like near the end, roughly the end of the arc. Uh, the android. The android arc, uh, Goku suffers from a heart virus, so he's incapacitated throughout the majority of that arc. And then even then, he's not the one that saves the day at the end, it's Gohan. Uh, Majin Buu, he's, he's dead. He's dead, he can't do anything there. Like, until he's properly resurrected. So, so that, that's, that's what's good about Dragon Ball. And going before, <laughs> stopping with that tangent, like, like, while I liked Dragon Ball Super, it, it is kind of lazy with just rehashing Battle of Gods again. It should 100% should have just started with the tournament. Which I did enjoy with the the manga. And I think one change they did that I did appreciate was uh, everyone, everyone in the tournament had to do a written test because they actually wanted it to be a proper, like, entertaining tournament. They didn't just want full-on berserkers. Uh in the fight uh and they use it as a way to sh show why Margin Boo didn't make it into the fight because then i think if i remember in the anime he just falls asleep which is just i know he's supposed to be a comic relief character but that's just these things like he can't fight because he's fallen asleep or he's gone into a food coma and it'll take him months to wake up so that's why he doesn't fight and they're originally they're at goku goku and the rest of the people um uh, in the tournament are at a disadvantage because they're down one member. Uh, in the manga, uh, everyone does a written test. Majin Buu doesn't even pass because he doesn't even know how to spell his name. Goku just barely passes. He just gets over 50% and makes it into the tournament properly. Majin Buu does not make it at all because he couldn't even write his name. Didn't even write any answers. So I did appreciate that because like, 
that's something I didn't like with the, the main tournament of power, the last uh, super um, arc. It's just pumping up Majin Buu to be an actual fighter into it. Like even him like slimming down, being a bit more muscular. And then it's just like, oh, we need to bring Freezer back because, you know, when you think fighter, you think Freezer. No, Cell would have been a better choice because it's in a, he's an actual fighter and has all, pretty much all like the techniques and almost all the power of like everyone else on that team that is chosen. So, but so in result they had Margin Boot goes into a food coma, and can't compete. So I did appreciate like this change, the first change with the first tournament with Margin Boot. Uh, but overall, I did like. The Dragon Ball Super manga, regardless of the problems I had with it. Uh, definitely, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, pick it up. If you, I mean, it's it's still ongoing because the obviously the anime is done in the manga. I think the first time ever the manga comes out after the anime. So the, ma the manga is the one that has to catch up, which is interesting. And they, and but Toriyama doesn't do the complete thing. It does the story and then the art. It's by Toyotaro, who I believe uh, since he, it's very close to the Toriyama art style. He's a... He, um... I think he... Uh, I think it's Toyotaro. He did a, a... Like a Dragon Ball fan fiction called Dragon Ball AF, which was supposed to take place after Dragon Ball GT, I believe. I think it's Toyotaro. I think it's the same same guy. It could be different. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. So it is good. Like, an actual, like, kind of Dragon Ball fan working on it and almost 100% recreate the same art style as Toriyama, so Toriyama doesn't have to do the complete work and just be exhausted or whatever, just, he can, just, here's the story, draw it. So, that's it for this video. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, check out my previous videos, and I will see you all next time.